Hey guys, I'm here in my new studio. I'm doing an unboxing, but I cannot unbox this alone. And I was lying, this is not a new studio. I have a special guest. I'm ready, guys? This is very exciting. <gasps> it's Marquez! Okay, so for the yeah. two people who don't know who you are, okay. explain what your YouTube channel is. Sure, cool. Hi, uh, I'm Marquez. I make tech videos. The channel is MKBHD on YouTube. And I talk about stuff like this, what's in here, and related electronics a lot. And so he has this gorgeous studio. It's epic. It's so cool to see in real life. But I was like, I'm getting a new MacBook. This is a big deal. I haven't upgraded. This is, this is a big deal. This is 2012. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna embark on this. But Marquez, I want you to have the honor of Can I, unboxing. I just yes. really want to pull the tab. Yes. Yes. Does not get old. So this is the new MacBook Pro with a KB Lake processor, 3.1 gigahertz, um, 16 gigs of RAM. I was kind of disappointed that you didn't have that 32 gig upgrade. Yeah, there's there's a couple strange things, I mean, compared to other laptops about this thing. Uh, you kind of have to get what you want right mm -hmm. out the box because you can't upgrade it later. Have you been enjoying your touch bar? I MacBook? have. Some people mm -hmm. love it. I'm in that camp. Some mm -hmm. people, not so much. I'm in the camp of I've used some of my friends. I don't quite understand, but people say it changes once this actually becomes your machine. That is true. This is so exciting. So Marquez, how long have you been doing your YouTube channel? I've been making tech videos for seven years. Seven years. Wow, that is epic. And what did yeah. you go to school for? I went to school for business. Amazing. And then I learned a lot about the businesses that make stuff like this. Ooh, here it is. Holding it now for oh the first my time. goodness. <laughs> So many tech products. Outside of phones, what is the funnest, quirkiest thing that caught your eye that you might not use every day, but you're just like, dang. Okay, so I'm not a big gamer, but <laughs> Nintendo Switch kind of changed that a little bit in me. It feels like the perfect flight com like companion. The Switch is like just the right size where you pick it up, use it, put it right. down, last okay. the whole flight. I liked it. Desk count. How many desks do you have? I've actually been asked that before. Yeah, because uh, right. it's insane. So one, two, three. Poker table is a table, not a desk. Okay. Four is the gray one in the back. Five is this black and wood one. Six is the one with the monitors on it. Seven is this one right here. That's a table. That's it. I mean... Rolling table. A rolling you, desk? Rolling desk? <laughs> Eight, nine. I counted this one already. Yeah, well... So that's nine. There were two more, but they're in a different room now. A big thing that a lot of people give me a hard time for is I am a Adobe Premiere user. I do a lot of video production type stuff. So I just went to Cuba. I shot everything in 4K. Haven't been able to touch the footage. I'm hoping that this new MacBook will really help me in terms of turning through 4K. But you, you use Final Cut. But you I do. haven't always been that way. What made you change? Before any serious editing, I was using some other software, but then I started with Adobe Premiere. I think the turning point for me was just for performance, working with some Final Cut editors who were exporting whole videos and then finding mistakes in those videos, correcting them in Final Cut, and then exporting them again, all while my video is like 30% done exporting in Final Cut. And Premiere. Okay, so what we're gonna do, Marquez is gonna get his MacBook Pro. Yours is similarly specced out. Yes. So we are going to try to render the same video files, but I'm gonna do them on Premiere on my machines and Final Cut on his. So we need a dongle to do all of these things. I have a do you have a specific compartment just for all of your dongles? Oh, I literally do. Let me show you right here behind yeah. here. Yeah. Show, show off the, the phone drawer okay, this first. Is the smartphones. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I've reviewed a few in my day. I kind of make videos about a lot of them. <laughs> in the back here, you got your dongle dongle area. Mm -hmm. This is my life. Thunderbolt. No. Full size USB. First time with the touch bar. Marquez already helped with the pro tip. There you click is. and then you slide. You don't have to tap and then do it. Installing Adobe Premiere on the new computer. And I'm That's liking too. these keys actually. That's good because you're going to have to use them a lot. So we have two. 4K clips, each one repeated twice to make it a roughly four, two minute video, right? Mm -hmm. Final Cut timeline on the new MacBook Pro, Premiere timeline on the new MacBook Pro, and the Premiere timeline on your workhorse. 20, yes. 2012 MacBook 2012. Pro. 2012. On three? On three. Okay, one, two, three. 
and we're off. So we're about 50 seconds in. Looks like Final Cut's blazing 64, 65%. We have Premiere here at 23% already, and we have old MacBook Pro at 15%. 15%. Almost double between the new MacBooks, but and Final Cut eight. is destroying. So you can see where that experience came in. Done. And wow. I'm going to export it again just to see if I can do it twice. Okay, Marcus. No, no need to show off. <laughs> Something that I always say is I am personally faster in Premiere when it comes to editing. The time that I would be saving rendering out a video, I would be stuck in Final Cut struggling. And so that's kind of my thing just because I love Premiere and I love the Adobe Suites and how Photoshop and Lightroom kind of all sync up together and After Effects. A big advantage, if you use all those mm -hmm. things, they all talk to each other. Mm -hmm. I don't use any of them, so mm -hmm. it's less of a uh, here comes export number two. Uh -huh. So he has exported the video twice in the time that I'm still waiting for both of my videos in Premiere. All wow. right, so we just finished on my new MacBook at 357. 357, and my old one still has two minutes and 50 seconds, and you over here in Final Cut land, you know. All right, well, this kind of proved what you guys have been saying, but still to me, I am so sucked in to the Apple ecosystem and the Adobe ecosystem. But I think you've convinced me that I need to at least see what it's like maybe. I'll count that as a success. <laughs> well, thank you so much for unboxing my new computer with enjoy, me. Enjoy this difference in speed also. I'm oh sure that'll gosh. come in very handy. I am so excited. And Marquez's link will be in the description below. Check him out. You prob All of you guys probably know who he is. But if you don't, check him out. Any exciting videos coming up? Of course, there's, no. uh, there's a new camera made by Red in a smartphone. Crazy. Weird I stuff. saw you tweeting about that. I yeah. could not believe my eyes. I'm back at my apartment. I wanted to take a couple minutes just to show you how I have my MacBook set up and my initial thoughts. I have used it for about a week now. I work a lot from my apartment, so most of the time I'm sitting at this desk with my two Apple monitors. These are the 27 inch Thunderbolt monitors and that was my first question when buying this MacBook. Is there a dongle I can use to connect my monitors? The answer was yes and the dongle that you need is just the Thunderbolt to USB-C. It takes up the left two ports and then I have two ports left for the power and then also a USB-C to USB-3 dongle that goes to my USB-3 extender hub thing, technical terms. These are Kanto speakers, they sound pretty good. I just plugged that into the headphone jack, but yeah, this is my setup. First impressions. When I plug in my laptop, it loads up pretty well. However, I have had to restart my computer in order for the monitors to wake up with the computer. Sometimes it has difficulty connecting with my Bluetooth mouse um, or keyboard. I picked up another charger just so I can leave my main charger here so I don't have to detach any dongles. The simpler the process is, the better. So I just leave my my Thunderbolt to USB-C dongles connected to my monitors as well as the power and the dongle connected to the hub. And then I purchased two different dongle-like contraptions for when I'm on the go. If you've seen the Apple dongles, they're a lot. Um, there's, there's so many and it's very hard when you're just headed to a coffee shop or when you're traveling. So I took to the internet and I purchased two different hub type things where you can just plug it into one port or two ports into your MacBook and you get all of the connections that you need. So this one is the most popular recommendation I've gotten. It is the hyperdrive. You plug it into two of the USB-C ports. And then this one is a simple one that I bought off Amazon that I'm going to compare the two. So stay tuned on my Instagram stories. I'll probably be talking about the differences. Every time Apple announces a new product and it's slimmer and lighter, I get angry and I'm like, I don't need a smaller product or a thinner product. How about better battery? Am I right? But actually it helps. The thinness of the laptop and the lightness is actually a nice addition to when I'm rolling around with my backpack or just carrying the laptop. This will definitely hold me over for a while. I am so glad to say goodbye to my 2012 MacBook. I am still very curious about building a PC, but I knew a new chip is coming out soon, so I might 
pause on that adventure. Thank you so much for joining me. I am stoked on my new laptop. If you're new around here, make sure to hit that subscribe button for new videos every single Monday through Friday. I do tech, but I also do creative focus stuff, vlog stuff. I'm based in New York City, but I travel a lot. So let me know if you like this video. Hit that subscribe button down below. If you're curious about some of the things that I just talked about, they will be linked in the description below as well. Stay peachy. Okay, bye.